How many bags was it? Five. And then four or five, yeah. Four or five big bags full. Look at this. I think these are bootleg cards. There's a wrestler called China. Don't worry, she's no naked. Hello there, and welcome back to Tam and Bell Resell. Hiya. We're at a boot sale today for the first time this year. Yes. And it was an indoor one, Belle, eh? It was. And this is me giving you some money. <laughs> <laughs> That's me getting my pocket money for the week, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so she got £20 to spend. Yep, and here was my favourite stall of the boot sale. As you can see, all the pink. <laughs> We're having to do commentary, by the way, because there was music playing the whole time in here. Even though it's indoors, it was... Mm -hmm. But So I spotted these Fila Disruptors... And they were, she wanted £3 for them. And Belle spotted the Converse, but at this time she wanted 7 She wanted £7 for them. And I would have bought them if they were my size straight away because I love Converse, but they were only a, a 5 I think. Yeah, I think a 5 But she said she's a 6 and they do fit her. Spotted makeup for you. Yes, she did. <laughs> you bought that, eh? I did, bought them both. <laughs> yeah. So I, I did end up getting the feelers. And that's sort of roughly what I'd be after. The first purchase. Because they're really nice. This stall had these three Xbox controllers, but they're all like third party, they call it, Bell. Right. Which means not made by Microsoft. Not made by... Yeah. Right, okay. They're still okay. Com uh, so like a dupe. But they were also not in the best condition. Yeah. So these were manga books. Oh, people who? dressed up different. Oh, look at that. Who's that handsome Who's that? man in the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, There's the um, Lion King. Yeah. Isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, but I forgot to look into that, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Got a frog in the floor. Yeah. He's getting too excited by the toys. That's it. This is Paw Patrol stuff in this bag. But she wanted £5 for the whole bag, which is still pretty good. But I just left it there now, and I'll go back later. And I couldn't believe this. This was the best stall. This was Tam's favourite stall. Yes. <laughs> this was the last stall as well. It was just a tiny little boot sale. But I got these two Marvel Legends for my collection, because I collect action figures. And that's two Doctor Strange, but one of them's the Astral form. Different versions, eh? Mm-hmm. And this is consoles, retro consoles, two PlayStations, and an Xbox 360. And I asked how much he wanted. But, unfortunately, it was too much. It was a bit out of your price range. Yeah. So he wanted £30 per console. Right. And this was when I thought it was going to be quite a dear stall. <laughs> but it was actually really reasonable. Yeah. And I got, quite, I got a lot from this stall. So what are the five of each for the the Doctor Stranges? Mm -hmm. This Parasite Eve two was fifteen pound, so I, I left that. Right. So the person at this stall was actually named Johnny. He introduced us, himself to us, and he said that he would subscribe to the channel, and he was happy to be filmed as well. Yeah. And there's me checking out some artwork and loved it. What did you think about that? <laughs> well, we'll see this on your channel, Bill. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bill will do a video on her experience at this boot sale on her channel. And these games were three for a pound, and the PS4 games were a pound, but I, I bundled a lot together and I asked them for a deal. Mm -hmm. So this is me just picking ones that I think might be worth getting and I'll flash up some comps as well. So you'll see some of them definitely were worth getting. That's I'm shaking her hand, Belle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really friendly chap. And see that one's worth £7. There's quite a few worth between 7 and 10 did they say if they were, like, house clean skies or anything like that, love? Because you spoke to them for longer than yeah. I did. Yeah, they've got an eBay store. Ah, right. And I think it's mostly their own collection. Oh, cool. 
they had a lot of Pokemon cards, but I don't know anything about Pokemon. You're too old for that, aren't you, love? Just too old, old for man. that, yeah. <laughs> old man. This is a good one, this game. Crisis Zone. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Great. So I've got some really decent titles. The Ultimate Spider-Man was worth a bit as well, mm -hmm. just before that. I need to get the cases are clean, but actually the discs were all pretty good. Good condition on yeah. the discs, just the cases need a just little Just the bit cases light. need a bit of clean, they've maybe been up an attic. Mm -hmm. So, I love this, this stall. Look, it's cool t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that first thing you notice in there. Yeah. So, I go through quite a lot of these and I picked out all the best ones. I thought were the best ones. I never really looked anything up at the time. And they've also got some other stuff that you'll see shortly. I just kept coming back to this one stall, <laughs> <laughs> as you'll see in the title. And then the Spiral game. 8 9 free post. That goes for... 50 so, pence. So the... Oh, brilliant. <laughs> So Not 50 cents. Oh, 50 cents. <laughs> 50 pence. Uh, what That's you what like. you used to call them. What you used to call them. Oh, I did. Wasn't it me? No, it was me. <laughs> and this one's a good one as well, this Jet Li Rise to Honour. Mm -hmm. So, a, a lot of half-decent titles here. It's a shame because we did have a good chat, as you can see. But, but we can't leave it in because of the music. Because of the music. The music was really loud. You can't hear it, us, but we'll get copyright struck, so... Yeah. That was £15 for that game as well, Bill. That's great. I have no clue about tech or anything, so... Bell's... I wasn't at this table for long. Once I bought no. my I was off <laughs> back to the pink table. <laughs> yeah. Bell was actually waiting for me for about maybe half an hour, eh? Yeah, it was fine, though. I was just enjoying yeah, looking the... out the window at the nice buildings and things. Because the boys came as well. They did. And they, they got a couple of things. Mm -hmm. And they got some food and stuff, eh? so they were yeah. happy. Yeah, really nice. This is the first... This one runs maybe three... Going to run maybe three or four times a year, we think. Mm -hmm. So, got good bits of it. The last time, this is where I got the antique stuff. That's right, for 10 for pence. For 10 pence. But that person wasn't there. no. So it's going to obviously be different people, quite a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. I think if they advertise it more, they might get more sellers in as well, but it's not really a big space, you know, it's not huge or anything, so... No, that's it. Mm -hmm. But we we always seem to find something, don't we, when we, we're... We do. There. Like most places, I guess. I know. <laughs> that's both times we've had to get a taxi home. Yeah. From Tam's... I didn't think, honestly didn't think I was going to have to, after the first few tables, I was like, oh, I'm just going to get a little bit of stuff. <laughs> and then I came to this table. How many bags was it? Five? And then Four end? or five, yeah. Four or five big bags, full. To be fair, one of those was yours. That's true, With yeah. a big giant heart in it. One was mine's, yeah. yeah. So I asked them for a deal, so I, the two figures were a fiver each, and it was three for a pound games, and I think I got 27 games. So... He actually gave me the whole lot for eighteen pound. That's a good price. Yeah, amazing, eh? And that's me packing that all away. So I kept like um, thinking I was done at this stall, <laughs> <laughs> and this was when I spotted like when I was doing the games. I, I never really looked down, and. I know I shouldn't regret it, but sadly I missed out on some cool figures <laughs> <laughs> because underneath the table was loads of wrestling uh, retro le wrestling stuff, 90s, 80s. But I did get all of these VHS, so you'll see that in a minute. And But there was like a lot bigger name figures there, but these two guys got there before me, so well played. <laughs> <laughs> If you're no faster, last. Yeah. <laughs> but you did well. You got lots of stuff. You kind of get everything. But it's not often you see these, like, um, VHS, kind of wrestling ones. Mm hmm Because there's some uh, more niche ones there. There's Andre the Giant, isn't it? That's right, love. Mm hmm Well done. He was, on the, was he not on the Bond movie? No. Who am I thinking? He was on a movie called The Princess Bride. 
Princess Bride. Do you remember? I, I, I made you watch it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do, actually, yeah. We, um, uh-huh. Kerry Hughes and mm-hmm. um, it was uh, Guy Fay Wonder Years. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Y- that was just Tam's favourite film growing up. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was maybe not my favourite, but it was like one of one of my favourites. So. And then there was all this sort of signed memorabilia. Is you think some might be signed and some Some's might printed, be I think. printed? These are like photographs, and they had signatures on them. So I don't know if they've been at a wrestling event, but I think they're probably most likely printed. Right. But a lot of the cards were in that binder thing. So, but I'll leave them for now, believe it or not, because I was just like, I'll see what deal I get on these, and then I'll come back, sort of thing. Did you get this got, figure? Yeah, I got that. It's uh, Carlito, and he's actually still in WWE. This was from nineteen ninety eight, I think, or night early nineties, uh, late nineties. And this guy, I could only find the box version. I couldn't find any loose ones sold. But he's the ring announcer for Rocky. Right. But he's also a real-life ring announcer as well for all the boxing. So he says, I can do it all for 30. You'll see a little negotiation here. (laughs) Bell. So there's me. I was thinking more 20. (laughs) Aye. Aye. This is um, <laughs> 25. 22? <laughs> and then he does it, so there you go. So. I don't negotiate at book sales at all. I just pay the price. Because, yeah. Um, yeah, I feel embarrassed about doing it. I get all, I get all anxious about asking Hello. people for less money. Not a great businesswoman. No, that's it. That's why Tam does the selling and not me. Yeah. I would just give it all away for free. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> so uh, this was a really nice find. It's uh, like a programme from a toy, toy fair in 1986. Yeah. And there, Mark from Blue Harvest Toys told me that it's signed by the lady that plays Penel- Penelope. Penelope. And she's, and she's the wife of the Jerry creator. Anderson. Jerry Anderson, yeah, the creator. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. A cool find. It is. I really like that. And it was only 50p. 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 Nice. See, this was when I thought it was finished. Yeah. But, but um, no, it wasn't. I was going to have a, another look round, that's right. And offered £4 for the Converse instead of 7 and I got them. Yeah, because the lady had a sign saying open toffers as well. Open toffers, yeah, she, she did. Table. That's right. And then this phone was £2. Mm-hmm. And you see how much they're worth for now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And this is me back at the Paw Patrol bundle. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up getting it for three pound for the whole bag. Brilliant. And that's roughly what I would be expecting, because there was like eleven vehicles, and about eleven, twelve characters as well. Yeah. And then back to your favourite stall again. Yeah, back here again. See, I was back here about four or five times. <laughs> and this, I never looked through the books the first two times, so. That's me finding some cool retro annuals. Never really read 2000 AD when I was younger. But that's uh, Judge Dredd, love, if you didn't know. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah I've heard of Judge Dredd. And Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Universe, yep. i got two of these books. Cool. How cool are these? I love these. I was quite into He-Man when I was younger. And I got these, but these are actually not worth a lot, Bell. Right. Even though they're nineteen fifty-seven. Uh-huh. There you go, fifty pence each though. Can't grumble at that. Nope. You're going far away. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll come back. Then. Yeah. I'm moving away because my stomach's grumbling and I do want to pick it up on the tail on oh, the tail. On the tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, that was funny dog. Mm-hmm. So these are um Warhammer White Dwarf books, you know, the miniatures. Right. <laughs> I'm so, saying right, I have no clue. So they were one and five for four pound. But I said to them, would you do a deal on all of them? All right, okay. Because 
I'd got quite a lot off of them already by this stage. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, they're not worth a great deal. But I didn't really even look at all through all of them. 15 quid mm -hmm. for, I think there's at least 40 there. And you can put them into bundles, that's why I've put that up. Great. Usually they don't sell well singularly. Mm -hmm. Singularly. Singularly. But, like, if you get runs of the, like, maybe 256, 257, 258, mm -hmm. that's the best way to sell the bundles. All right. But there's a lot of, like, the Lord of the Rings stuff, miniature stuff in the, those books, which is really popular. So that's why I, I grabbed them. But they were, they were blinking heavy. <laughs> and look, these glasses are worth oh, wow. a few bob. That's Randy Orton, love. You don't know who he is. And if this thing I've got is real, look at this. I think these are bootleg cards. There's a wrestler called China. Don't worry, she's no naked. And <laughs> every single one of them's got her on it. All right. But the other side's just a plain card. Yeah. But these other cards, I think they might be bootlegs too because they're really bad pictures inside. Right. But I think they might be worth something. something. Yeah, I just got a feeling. So I, I picked up all this signed stuff. I said, would you do a deal on the rest of your wrestling stuff? And that's me talking. And got the whole lot for a fiver. Fantastic. But... I kind of regret leaving the DVDs now. <laughs> I said <laughs> this to Bell earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I should have just got the DVDs as well because some of them might have been worth a, a few pence. So this is the last box of this table. <laughs> this is breaking through. me back again. <laughs> <laughs> and I found some other signed stuff. Emile Ford. And I also found loads of old posters. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're reprints or reissues or just... I'll have to research it a bit. But it was like razor light. Like band posters. Yeah. But there's also some horror posters in there as well. Right. Yeah. Which are pretty cool, like Dracula and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then this Art of Ant-Man book. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's the first movie as well, which is... Much better than the second one. <laughs> so a tenner for all of that as well. Brilliant. And money's made back in the book if I decide to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> what, the Ant-Man book? Yeah. All right, OK. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We'd love for you to join the channel. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, whatnot and eBay. <laughs>